the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are missing a lot of players in this particular football game. And I think Lamar has an opportunity to really gash them in the running game. Their run defense and their run fits are horrible right now for the Bucs. And if he could somehow establish that run, then they'll have an opportunity to take some shots over the top because those safeties and those linebackers start peeking and getting nosy, and that's when you hit them over the top. You see, this is an unforgiving league. And let me tell you something, whether you're Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, whether you're Tom Brady, any of these legendary goats, when people smell blood in the water, oh, I'm going for the kill. Because now you're not going to get up on my watch. And as Key mentioned, so many people are out. Tom's going through, quote, unquote, allegedly issues off the field. This is the time for me to keep my foot on your neck and not let you get up. You know up. when uh, the, well, I'm going to take you. Hey, Key, let me take you back to 1951. I'm not even kidding. You know why Joe DiMaggio eventually retired? Got his hands on a scouting report. So, so like the greatest player ever, but he he gets his hands on the, on their scouting report. He reads what the league thinks about him, and he's like, "Okay, I'm done. I got I gotta go." That's how it is. And like what, what you scout scout like what does Brady look like right now? Doesn't look good, Key. No, it, he doesn't. But Antoine Winfield Jr.'s out. Uh, Russell Gage is out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Carlton Davis is out. Sean Murphy Bunting's out. Uh, um, Cam so Brady, you, huh? Cam, Cam Brake, Bray. their starting yeah, guard, Bray, Luke but Gadecki, I, I'm, I'm just thinking more of on the defensive side because of Lamar. Yeah. That's a lot in that secondary that's out. And like I said, you start to get guys that are not used to playing in there being nosy and sneaking down and, and, and putting their nose in other people's business. That's when Lamar is, is, has the opportunity to go over the top. One of the things that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they like to do is they like to blitz. They like to bring a lot of pressure. And, and over the last four weeks or so, Lamar Jackson has suffered a little bit against the Blitz, in particularly in the fourth quarter. He struggled. You know, he dominated maybe week through one through three. And then since then, he's, he's obviously struggled. He's hit 82% in week one through three and then 46% since then. So he has an opportunity, though, in the running game to really get after them. Key, that's he, why Lamar Jackson needs to win this game the most. Because of Tom Brady's roster being depleted, essentially, right? Because of his old line, because of all the players that are missing, because of the built in excuse already, all the things that are happening off the field. Like Lamar Jackson now, they have not. They've not been strong. They have not closed out games that we feel like they should have won. In the meantime, Brady, as you said, you like he Lamar needs to win more for that reason, maybe. But Brady, who right now is about, he, they lose. They're on a three-game losing streak. Yeah, right? but you would understand though, even in that divisional max, if they lose, they're still going to be there to compete. They, they can't. Ru- the Bucks can't run the ball, and they're missing an a, a, an offensive lineman and a tight end. And they already can't run the ball. And Jensen is out for the season before the season began. Like, it's a problem for Brady. You're right. Lamar's got to take advantage of that. But Brady loses and looks bad. The whispers it? grow louder and louder. I don't louder think it, for what? You think it gets, I think it is where it is, Max. I don't think it looks bad considering yeah, everybody's out is. right now. I think it looks bad for Tom Brady. Any Man, that dude is 100 years old and he ain't that, got no players. See, father see? time. That's what I'm saying. But that starts to play into it. That's what I'm saying. But that doesn't make him look bad. Well, Dude has seven championships. If you want to say that, then he can't look bad. Nothing can happen that could make uh, him look bad. But they came into this season with title hopes. They lose this game. The Bucks lose this game. What do you think about those title hopes? Detroit came in with title hopes. Move along, Max. Uh, oh, yeah. Detroit was exactly like Tampa. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.